Hello world, this is Random Fix, and if you're trying to pass an emissions or smog test and your oxygen sensor is not ready, stay tuned for this video and watch in its entirety, please. And I'll have other helpful videos at the end of the video, which you can definitely check out. Check out the whole playlist on smog tips if you'd like. And the oxygen sensor monitor here is going to be one of those monitors that should get ready really quick. For the oxygen sensor monitor, you shouldn't have to do anything special. Just go ahead and drive the vehicle as you normally would. And the monitor should be able to get ready in about 20-25 miles. I've never had to do any special testing for the oxygen monitor to go ahead and set. So if you're experiencing something like that, definitely look at some other alternatives, including maybe checking out the actual wiring harness of the oxygen sensor to make sure it's not damaged. So take this out for a drive test. This shouldn't take too long and there's a couple of things that are definitely going to keep you from getting your monitor ready and one of them is going to be if you got a defective or bad unit the monitor will not get ready as well as if the heater circuit is bad it may it may cause uh, actual issue on this particular monitor and other things that could be is excessive buildup from the combustion chamber on the actual oxygen sensor there's a couple of things which I'm going to show you in a little bit that could help maybe uh, a little bit of an aged oxygen sensor come back to life and the oxygen sensor on most vehicles are pretty easy to get to when you can access them and you need a special socket which is going to be the oxygen sensor socket and you remove it and then it's just got a small little pigtail right here that just comes out and you replace the unit you definitely want to get the OEM oxygen sensor whenever possible you'll less likely to have any kind of complications with that and as well as not having to mess with the wiring and in case your oxygen sensor is in a really weird location or you're just not able to get to it and you want to try something that does work but obviously every situation is different this right here is cataclean guys and cataclean if you have a lazy or a little bit of a dirty oxygen sensor definitely cleans it if you guys have checked out my previous video on this working on the catalytic converter it does work so check that out and i hope the video helped you guys out check out my complete smog video which i'll have here that showed the get oxygen sensor getting ready and this should be a really easy monitor to set if your monitor is not getting ready try this or if needed you may need to get yourself a new oxygen sensor and depending on your car that could be easier said than done but thanks for watching again if you guys haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way whenever i post a new video that's aimed at saving you time and money you'll get notified have a great day and please leave your comments and your questions below and i'll have a link to this in the description box below as well as the scanners I recommend and any other tools that may help you in getting your oxygen sensor ready for an emissions test. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.